Hello, my name is Bing Chen. I work on a team called YouTube Next at YouTube. Uh, we are charged with identifying, developing, and promoting, in other words, supercharging any sort of content creator anywhere. But if somebody has a small business, how can YouTube help them? How can they use that as a free tool? I think really it distills down to one thing, which is not only are we the biggest stage in the world, three billion views a day, not only do we have that, but we have an engaged audience. So you're not playing to someone that's, you know, being, you know, leaning back in their couch and like sipping a soda and maybe watching your channel. You have people who are leaning forward, very engaged with the content and really interested in what you have to say. I would also say that on YouTube, passion trumps production. Now, you can have the same quality with a $500 camera. And so for an emerging business, the message to you is just be honest with what you, what you have and what you can give people. The production costs aren't gonna be high and there will be an audience for it. How does somebody get started? First, go to youtube.com slash browse and look at all the videos that are on there. A lot of them, vast majority, are from our YouTube partners. See what kind of content they're creating, how they're interacting with their community. The second thing I'd say is just to try video making yourself. Just take your phone or your camera and film five minutes of your day. Maybe you can have some motif, like ask your kid how their day was, right, and upload it to YouTube. And then the third thing that we'd say is the content is everywhere. So an example could be, let's say I'm making a video about New York City. I don't have any footage of New York. I don't own a helicopter, so I can't hover over Manhattan, can't do any of it, right? But someone else has, and they've Creative Commons licensed it. And so what I can do is I can take their content, and suddenly I have something that looks like it was millions of dollars to create, but actually only cost me about five hours and $200, maybe. So if, if we're looking at at any size business and, and they really want to establish a presence on YouTube. How do they get started? What rules should they follow? So we have something uh, at YouTube that we call Healy's Law, and this is named after the famous Margaret Healy, who's one of the first YouTubers and really a champion for the content community. And so the H in Healy stands for honor thyself, right? Making sure that you are true to your brand and you're conscious of what platform you're going on. E, which is every four seconds, this is a lean forward experience, not a lean back. You need to make sure there are constantly things that users can interact with. Mm -hmm. Third is A, which is audience is king, integrating people within the content with the content and without the content. L is location, location, location. Nothing more needs to be said. And finally, Y is you. YouTube is really, really about you. It's a platform that is here for you. It's a very warm and vibrant community. And if you follow these tips, hopefully, we'll be very, very successful for you. Thank you so much. No worries. Thanks, That Corey. was great. And you should watch this guy, too. That's how you'll be <laughs> successful.